Hey what's up everybody, this is Vdiz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious, and in this video we're talking about Wrestlemania 35. We're going over all the matches that we know about so far, and also what I think, because what I think matters. That's some really important shit. First we're going to talk about the pre-show. The pre-show for Wrestlemania is not short, so start this by scratching off about two hours of your life because it's gone dude. It's gone forever. We have the Intercontinental Championship match between Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor. I like Finn Balor a lot, but this match to me is not must see. The main thing that makes me want to see this match is to see how much Leo Rush gets involved. Finn Balor doesn't really need the belt to look good, but Bobby Lashley does because he sucks. Guys, I'm not lying, this is some real shit. Then we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And we also have the Women's Battle Royal. I just feel like we could be doing almost anything else besides watching these matches. These matches should all go on the pre-show, so if you show up late, it's like, hey man, did you miss the whole pre-show? Oh, all the good stuff's about to happen now. You're good. <laughs> Next, we have the Women's Tag Team Championship with the Boston Hug Connection versus Beth Phoenix and Natalya, Nia Jax and Tamina, and the Iconics. For me, I'm not really big on this match either. It could be on the pre-show or maybe the first match like they did at the Elimination Chamber. I want anyone to win besides the boss and hugs connection. That's what's up. Well now, since we got all that out of the way, now we can get to the good stuff. I mean, the stuff that makes you actually want to watch WrestleMania. <laughs> Next we're going to talk about the Cruiserweight Championship between Buddy Murphy and Tony Nese. I really want to see this match. I think this will be one of the best matches of the night. Both these guys are amazing athletes with strikes, slams, and high flying moves, and this should not be on the pre-show. The Cruiserweight Championship, especially when Buddy Murphy is the champ, should not be on the pre-show. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Fuck. Next we have the United States Championship between Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. I think this match is going to be really good. The matches these two have had along with Andrade have been awesome. I heard Rey's son is supposed to be at ringside so this could either be a good thing or bad thing for Samoa Joe. This will be a really great match to check out. I want Samoa Joe to win and keep his championship. If he cheats to do that, that's even better. <laughs> Next, we're talking about the Triple H and Batista no holds barred with Triple H's career on the line match. I'm really looking forward to this match. Triple H is one of my favorite wrestlers ever. I definitely want Triple H to win. Oh, and they talk about Kobe Kingston being a B-plus player? Batista is like way worse, like a E for effort bad. If there were only a hundred wrestlers in the world, he would be in the bottom three. Like Roman Reigns is like better than him, I don't even like him that much. Next we have AJ Styles vs Randy Orton. I'm pretty stoked to see this match. The promo they had a few weeks ago dissing each other was great and I did not see that coming. On the low, I feel this match could steal the show or definitely be one of the best matches of the night. We also have Roman Reigns vs Drew McIntyre. I definitely want to see this match. I think this match will be great for both wrestlers. Roman Reigns just recently returned to WWE and Drew McIntyre is kind of just now getting his solo push. When Drew beat up Roman Reigns a few weeks ago, I think that added to the build up to this match at WrestleMania 35. Next we have Kurt Angle against Baron Corbin. Honestly, I'm not big to see this match. Even if they switch it to Kurt Angle vs John Cena, to me it's still not must see. It's keeping it real, dude. It's not my fault. We also have The Miz vs. Shane McMahon in a Falls Count Anywhere match. This is definitely one of the main matches I want to see as far as the story. This match has been in the making for a long time with the build-up starting back to when Shane and The Miz became the best tag team in the world. Since Shane is the heel, I want him to win. If Miz was the heel, I would want him to win. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's not that complicated. <laughs> Next we have the Universal Championship match between Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins. If there's a wrestling god, make Brock lose the title. It's not because he really isn't that great in the ring. It's not because he sucks on the mic. It's not because we never see him. It's all those things. And more stuff. And if Brock gets screwed out of the title, that's even better. Another match that we have is the Raw Women's Championship between Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. This is one of the main matches everyone wants to see. All we wanted was Ronda vs Becky. That's it. We were supposed to have it forever ago, and now we're still not going to have it. And I heard about this new stipulation how they added all these different ways the titles could change hands depending on who pinned who and it's making it more complicated when it could have just been Ronda Rousey vs Becky Lynch in the first place. WWE did it again. They just keep making us take it up the butt. And it really sucks man, you know. 
Alright guys, that is the whole video. That is all the matches in this year's WrestleMania. I'm just kidding guys. We also have the WWE Championship match between Daniel Bryan vs. Kofi Kingston. This match along with the WWE Women's Championship are the main matches everyone wants to see. This match has such a huge build up and has been messing with everyone's emotions the whole time. WWE fans are waiting for the ultimate payoff and see Kofi the new WWE Champion. If Kofi Kingston goes to WrestleMania, cool. If he becomes the WWE Champion, fantastic. What if Kobe Kingston goes to WrestleMania and loses? WWE won't do it. I dare you. I double dare you. I a million times dare you. WWE, don't be a little bitch. Some of the notes that I have for WrestleMania 35 are that the Raw Tag Team Champions The Revival and the SmackDown Tag Champions The Usos both currently do not have a match at WrestleMania. For me, this really sucks because The Usos are my favorite tag team in WWE. Also, I heard a rumor that at the pay-per-view, the weather could be really shitty like it could start raining and snowing during the show. That would really suck. Stephanie McMahon announces the Women's Championship at WrestleMania is now winner takes all. Charlotte, Ronda, and Becky have a tag team match versus the Riot Squad where there's a stipulation that whoever starts a fight, then that person will be kicked out of WrestleMania. Ronda puts Liv Morgan in the armbar winning the match. As soon as the bell rings, Ronda attacks Charlotte and they all fight each other until they're handcuffed, put in squad cars, and taken out of the arena. It's pretty sweet, dude. It's pretty freaking badass, man. I think that segment lasted like 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, those are all the matches for WrestleMania 35. Thank you very much for peeping out the video. Please like, comment on all the matches, and super kick that subscribe button. Like, right in the face. For sure.